Hello everyone and welcome to my winter morning routine, my updated morning routine if you will. My mornings typically start at 5 a.m. I do work a 9 to 5 so I have to get all of these things done before I leave for work at about 8.45. I normally start out my day um, straight away taking my dogs out. I didn't show that in this video because I'm honestly half asleep whenever I do that. But then when I get back, I get dressed and I go straight into my workout on the days that I do have a workout. I've been working out with the Copilot app for about a month and a half, maybe two months now. And it's been really wonderful. I'm starting to feel stronger, see a few results, and it's been super nice. I do use the gym that is attached to our apartment complex. It's at the front of the complex, so I just take a little walk there. Just takes a couple of minutes, and it was pretty cold this morning. It was about 40 degrees out, which is cold for down here in the south. And then I started this new thing where when I get back or a day that I don't work out maybe before I take a shower, I open up the windows in my apartment, not all of them, just a couple, and I heard from Jessica Spires on YouTube here, I'm not sure if you know her channel, but she's very intelligent and she's like a holistic nutritionist, but she talks about how if you open your windows and let your kind of air in your home purify for like 10 or so minutes a day, and it makes perfect sense. It it makes the place feel better, smell better, the air circulates better, so I started doing that every morning and I've really been enjoying that. And then it's time to hop in the shower. And as soon as I get out, this was a hair washing day, so I'm just putting my hair up in a towel. And then it's moving on to skincare. I do lotion my body every day. I want to keep my skin looking youthful and hydrated as long as I can and I feel like it's important to start young so I do put lotion on after every shower. My facial skincare routine is pretty simple. I just use a rose water spray to bring some um, hydration back into my skin and then follow up with a toner and a moisturizer with SPF for the daytime. Then I'll go around and just close the windows that I had opened. My dog, Ray, she just loves to stand watch and kind of keep an eye out, so I usually keep the blinds open for her so that she can see out. Moving on to my morning coffee. Um, this is kind of a two-step process. I've been drinking hot coffee with it being colder outside. I crave a warm coffee. So I'll get it started. I do a pour over every day and I'll let it, um, I'll pour it in that cup there and let it sit for a minute because it's like piping hot. I know this may seem kind of weird, but while that's cooling off a little bit, I'll take some time to read my devotional. And I also have been eating a banana while I read my devotionals every morning, just to make sure that I've got some sustenance in my body before I have caffeine. And at this point, it's been like an hour and a half that I've been awake. So I feel like it's an appropriate time to drink some caffeine without uh, raising cortisol levels. On a hair washing day, I will leave it in that microfiber towel just for a little while and then I'll take it out straight away, put this leave-in conditioner with rosemary and mint and it smells really good. You can't be too heavy handed with this because it will leave a residue on your hair, but I like the way it makes it feel, I like the way it makes it smell, so I'll put that in my hair and then brush it through, and then I'll put a headband on and let it air dry a little bit while I do my makeup. And my makeup is 
pretty simple. It takes me like 15 to 20 minutes and that's just because I take my time. If I rushed through it a little bit faster, it honestly would probably be like a 10 minute makeup routine. It's pretty simple, just base, uh, eyebrows, mascara, bronzer. In an attempt to switch over my products over time to more clean products, I just use an organic argon oil for a heat protectant for my hair. And there's a learning curve with it. I think I used to put way too much and it would be a little oily even after I blow dried it and straightened it. But as long as I don't put too much and I just run it through mainly the ends of my hair, the more delicate pieces, before I put the blow dryer on it and then sometimes I'll do it after I put the blow dryer on it before I do my hair straightener. This particular blow dryer was a gift from my mom a few Christmases ago and when I say a few it's been a while. I've had it for probably five or six years and it's wonderful. It's called a speed freak and it dries my hair so quickly. I love it. My mom swears by it. She bought me one. She bought my sister one. And then I jumped on the lounge train way back in the day and started using their hair tools. I've had two of their straighteners. I've had their curling wand, their blow dry brush. I love them all, I'll be honest. And this is their Leduo that you can straighten and curl your hair with because it has the air that comes on the outside of the barrel and cools your curls as you like pull down with the straightener and it's really wonderful. So I love that tool. I've had it for a couple of years as well. I try to pack my lunch every day for work just to cut costs and not eat out and it usually just consists of like leftovers, but I'm working on getting better ingredients in there. And then I bought this Hydra Peak, it's like a knockoff Stanley, and my goal is to drink two of these a day, which I've been doing, and it's really wonderful. And then I just finish off with some perfume, which whenever this runs out, or maybe even sooner than that, I'm gonna switch over to just like an essential oil roll-on. I love anything rose-scented. And then it's just time to get my shoes on. I'll take my dogs out really quickly for a little potty break right before I leave. And then I head out the door, grab my purse, grab my lunchbox, my ridiculously large cup, and then head out to work. So that wraps up my work morning routine. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.